Hello, 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 there we go. I see live mic.
Hello? I hope the audio is working. Seems like audio is working, video is working. So I will begin. I'm monitoring chat if anybody has any comments or questions or requests or whatever. Nothing. I want to be doing is up, so I guess I'll go do my daily runs of some epic normal stuff. Do the druids chain generally first. It's quick and easy. Still farming for heart seeds. I think to check that when I get to my reward. Once I'm done with that, I guess I'll go for accommodations. But, uh, trying to fill out my last couple destinies. I normally use Shadow Play to do recordings or streams, but uh, can't figure out how to tell Shadowplay to stream to a different stream key. It wants to just stream to my key channel and not another one, which is a problem. So I had to quickly set up OBS before this started. And that was a pain, but I finally got it to work. Although I had to go into windowed mode, which I never play in, which is a little bit annoying. I generally play with most game audio either very low or off. I get very bored with repetitious game sounds. The only reason I have combat on is because it can help indicate what's happening around you when you can't see it all the time. In this chain there's a couple spots where the uh, scenery gets in the way and uh, it's kind of annoying. I'll settle into it. <coughs> I just got this uh, Thunder Forge off the Astral Shard Auction House the other day, and I'm really liking it. Thank you to whoever put this up for the relatively cheap price it was with the Meteoric Star Ruby in it, because it is serving me well.
the wisps. There we go. I probably could pure solo this, but gotten lazy been I mean off destinies and just go ahead and use the hirelings extra hit points to take damage and a little bit extra DPS here and there more distraction than anything else and of course not having to worry about healing is nice with the favorite soul when he's actually working and actually healing I've seen people run this the opposite order, doing the other side first and then this side. I don't understand that. I'm sure there's a reason, but to me it makes more sense to come down here, do it this way, and avoid all those wisps. He's not doing his job again. There he goes. minutes 51 seconds not a bad time that actually helps me get under five minutes yeah they get occasional he kill here and there it's useful to have them Hey, thanks, Jerry. I like the way this quest chain goes where you think at first you're going to be running around a lot and then as you complete them you start getting closer and closer and it's easier just to run back or you don't have to run back I should say oh yeah I was going to check on my heart seeds I'm getting there 388 If I suddenly yell a name, it's probably one of the animals. I think
still on us. This quest is a bad one for the hanging things getting in your way while you're trying to do stuff. I usually have my zoom all the way out. That's where I like to play. So I encounter some environment stuff quite often, like here. On the one hand, it's nice to feel like you're in the environment. On the other hand, it's kind of not nice that it blocks your view. I caught him that time, so you can actually see that he disappears. Although I've got it, had him get stuck in the wall over here before. It's kind of funny. Anybody's wondering why my bars are inside a little bit from the edge of the screen. That's because if I play on my TV, the edges get cut off. So I have them set such that I can see them all when I'm playing on the TV. sure if that's me lagging or the stream lagging me. I know a lot of people were blaming the lag on the cove, but I've still had about as much lag as, pers as far as I can tell, even though cove's gone. And I do like the cove. Although, that's one of the reasons I stopped playing for a while, is I burned myself out on it. I must say I really did like the uh, 500 turn-ins to open the cove. That was really nice. My other character has about 250 compasses. And uh, if I had had him up in epics, I would have probably been running him non-stop through the cove to get a bunch of stuff. This is my only epic character. I only have like 26 compasses right now. I burned through a few doing cove runs. And I did that stupid thing where you know you're going through the cove and getting stuff and you realize after an hour that you forgot to put your hat on. So I wasn't getting nearly as much in the way of drops from running the area as I should have been. That was a fun realization. I've done that several times now. Clear some extra stuff here. Let's see how we did. Five minutes, one second. Not too bad. Should really be under five, but it's okay. I actually really like the way the cove went, where it was higher at first, and then as it went down, I mean, you could have probably stepped it down in smaller steps, but then the last weekend it was really close, so it was more of a frantic, all right, get your stuff while you can thing. I, I like that feeling to it. Whereas at first it was, okay, let's run and you know, get our compasses and 
doubloons and then later on it's all right now let's just run cove 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 heard them kobolds kind of things Seeds. And here's the fun part where you just have to go right over here instead of going all the way across the map. Yeah, I finished one rum flask of my other character, my other main character. I was happy to finish that, and then I started one here on Shaw, but I didn't get too far. Let's see, where did I get to? Cure Critical Wound, seven minutes is what it's at. Got a little bit ways to go. Yeah, if people watching want to run something after I finish these couple, I would just do something as warm up basically while people get the notification and come on if they want to watch. And of course, it's still early for other time zones. So, I figure I was going to be doing this anyway, might as well do it on stream. This quest does have a neat feeling to it. Nice atmosphere. The only thing I have a problem with is sometimes the gamma in these tunnels is a little weird. Yeah, you can see in my rightmost bar here, my uh, collection of cove hats on this character. Oh, I forgot what I was doing. I should have just killed the node and left. This is going to be a bad time. Oh well. So back when cove first came out, I was still a fairly new player, and... Uh, kept seeing forum posts and wiki things and all this stuff I didn't have and it's like okay well some of that stuff's above me some of that stuff is stuff I just don't haven't done yet and don't know how to some of it looks pretty difficult or boring or you have to flag for it or something but Cove came out it's like oh wow all this gear I know how to get everybody else is at the same level I am it's all new no one knows exactly what to do we're all figuring it out I really enjoyed that part of it. The problem was is that I got kind of hooked on it. And I got good at running torches and ended up spending way too many hours just doing Cove. Got a lot of nice gear for the level, but and I actually leveled quite a few levels in this character, just Cove. So I skipped out a lot of the other quests at level. And uh, that caused some problems with trying to do things like the uh, Nicarbos Trinklet and stuff like that. And until recently I was never VIP, so I have to either group with people at Elite or run every quest three times in a row, which isn't necessarily the most fun thing to do. And then bravery bonuses came out and made it much easier to run things at Elite first time.
Wow, there I was missing that jump every time. It was really annoying. Five thirty three, not horrible. And now I can do that faster though. Yeah, this run I do relatively daily is mostly about how many quests can I fit in in the span of one hireling. I have a couple other things I can do to switch it up now and then or if I want to break a second hireling out. Sit down. This is one of the nicer swimming quests. There's nice map marks to tell you where to turn. Optional if you want it. Otherwise you go straight to where you need to go.
bears being annoying. Yeah, I don't use my boosts here because these are much lower level. And you really don't need a boost for those. Not overly fond of this whole you have to kill mechanic to pass these things. I understand that you don't want to walk through the whole thing, but seems like there should be a happy medium between the two. Oh, come on, I thought he was dead. There he is. Mm, yeah, I don't need to rest this time. As I get more of my more of my destinies and better gear and really more comfortable with playing this character, I go from stopping at shrines and using hirelings to soloing without shrines and just go, 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 get through them, especially the ones I run quite often. My favorite soul needs to use his uh, wings and catch up. He's always way behind. there when I triggered my boost. That's a nice tablet turned off, so I can't see chat for a minute. Bear getting stuck on the pillar there. Me, you're the one who keeps not dying. Necessary villain death. Six thirty five, not too bad. Let's see if I can get the chat back up here. There we So that was the Druid Chain in about 24 minutes. Just because I'm here, I hit don't drink the water. Stay there. 
I finally got my cloak of invisibility yesterday. I was farming it for a bit. Finally I got it, so makes things a little easier here and there. Cat, your uh, butt on my mouse hand is not working out very well. I don't usually use invis strategies, but in this case it saves a lot of headache. There's other yon tea in the uh, dire bear, specifically. in that time. Alright. Switch to my acid resist.
style here. 624. Not horrible. And that's pretty much it for Evening star. Um, how much time do I have left? Twenty nine minutes. Mm. Probably just two party crashers and then devil salt. Anything interesting going on? Ooh, there's a Vaughn. Uh, Eleven minutes active though. It's a little too late. Yeah. I'll have to hope for a group on some of the other stuff. That would be good XP, like Spies in the House and such. Dog back off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I made uh, several cove items. I've got a couple rings, a couple sp blades, spyglasses. There's some cavalry plates in here. There might be something else stashed in here somewhere. Uh, 28 treasure compasses. Finally got to making some green steel, which is wonderful for when I finally get around to uh, heroic TRing. Oh, and why don't seeds just go in your bag? That would be so much more convenient. Accommodations as well that you pick from and rewards don't go. There we go. All right. What was I going to do? Oh, party crashers. That's right. I bank all my loot to uh, give to my crafter to level up. Long way to go there. I did do a uh, video earlier that went over my character that I'm playing, so if anybody has any questions about my character, that might answer them for you. Just to show. No tell, just to show. 
I go over, show my enhancements and my destinies and all that stats. One thing I really dislike about hirelings, especially owlbears, is how they get in your way all the time. They don't need to be on top of me. Don't need to be in my face. They can be a couple steps behind and be fine. Mm -hmm. So many collectibles in this quest. Scorpion worse as if it was phasing as well. These steps don't make any sense. Elsewhere in the game I can get stubbed on a little tiny piece of rock, but I'm a dwarf and I can run up these giant steps, no problem. Did this on Epic Elite the other day for the first time with my guild. It was interesting. There you are. Oh, kill the giants. died upstairs. We were trying to get the uh, Cabal troop. They all just came out at once and there were three of us. And overwhelmed us. Pretty fast. Otherwise it wasn't too bad on Epic Leap. I really don't run that difficulty very much. I think with this axe I'm... well, if I'm in good destiny Epic Hearts, not a too big of a problem. Elite's still out there though. Don't have all the gear for it really. Just, I'm still trying to fill out these last two destinies. That 
jump. Sometimes it's not a big deal and sometimes it takes forever. Don't know why. I've done it enough, I should know it by now. As far as gear goes, I pretty much have just random level 28s I've picked up. Haven't really bought anything or really tried to grind or craft anything. It's just stuff that seems like it fits well enough. I uh, don't plan on staying at 28 after I finish my destiny and have my seeds. Plan on ETRing a bunch. So my 20 gear set is more important than my 28 at the moment. Of course, I have two good axes at 24 now. Which will make things easier for the 24 to 28. So I find that you have to wait for Cyan anyway. And so also you have to wait for those guys to get into the library. So it sort of makes sense to just come up here after you trigger those two and get the other uh, collectibles while you're here. Doesn't take too much time off unless you're really doing a speed run. Cyan walks so slowly. She had about double the walking speed, it'd be better. That gives these guys time to set up a little bit, trigger him. Wait till he actually can be hit. Ooh, I got a ruby of superior shock. It's not bad. Oops, what am I doing? This is when I use the shrine just because there's nothing else to do. You trigger Cyan first, but she takes so long to walk that it's not a big deal to just come over here and have everybody shrine. VPAC 91. That's a bad problem. I know I've had a couple times where it's done it, but other people in my guild have more regular problems, like especially certain zones, they have to, they crash, they have to relog every time. So I shrined and ran here, and Cyan's still basically halfway here. But uh, I don't usually have too many problems with lag, um, freezing, and you know, that sort of thing. I'll occasionally have that stuck loading screen or something. And of course, the occasional lag mid-quest that happens, sometimes in the city too. But overall, I don't think it's too bad. I'm running on a laptop with a SSD, and uh, that's where DDO is. There's also another hard drive. DDO is on the SSD, so loading time should be minimal. Occasionally they're not, which indicates to me that it's not a local problem, probably. Something to do with server connection, and I know my connection sometimes is wonky, so it may be that sometimes causes issues. I don't know. The reason I go ahead and let him get poisoned is it's faster, there's less dialogue. And the poisoner is really easy to kill by herself. Well, with this guy, but it's basically by herself. Whereas if you do some of the other ones, you have a lot more guys to contend with. And if you kill the poison master first, then uh, you have all that other dialogue to wade through. And since I don't have any skills to open the door to the troop, I'll just kill him down here instead. I do like the alternate 
ending. In fact, I really like this quest overall. This is a really nice quest, one of my favorites. Even though I've done it several times, um, I still enjoy it. There's just a lot of different components to it. There's alternate paths, and skills make a difference, and there's a lot of fun stuff in it. And the no fight ending is awesome, if you can get it. The rail's dead. Yeah, it looks like it's just him now. Bye. I need to do the vault sometime. I haven't do the, done the vault in a while. I think I've only done it once ever. Eleven minutes, fourteen seconds. Not horrible. I do have a lot of fun with this game. I do enjoy it overall. All right, so I've got how many left? Come on. Ah, uh, the hovers aren't working again. That's annoying. 17 minutes left. I probably could fit something else in. But I'm probably going to burn two hirelings tonight anyway. Jay Roner on, I agree. Yeah, I would, I would like more quests with no fight endings. Um, and other optionals, you can bypass sections of quest. I love that mechanic. It makes investing in skills worth uh, a lot more. B pack. I am running a Fighter 18 2 Monk that is pretty much doesn't follow any build strategy. Ever since I uh, used my free heart, this was an old uh, Kensai build. And then I had a break for almost two years and came back and had heart so I used it and the game had changed quite a bit since that build so I just did my own. Uh, the reason I went to Monk instead of going full Kensai was for survivability. Uh, I would absolutely just died in traps um, way too easily even running just hero elites uh, so that plus the fact there weren't as many groups when I came back um, led to soloing, and so I needed to be survivable. And of course, armor up wasn't out yet, so that uh, made a big difference too, because I was wearing heavy armor up until I became epic. So yeah, it's not a specific build. Um, if you want to see the build, I do have a video both on Twitch as a highlight from earlier today and uh, on my YouTube that just goes through all the destinies and enhancements and feats and stuff. It's just a quick show of them all um, if you're interested in exactly what I did. But it's really nothing special. Um, can sign most of the way uh, and then a bit of monk just to get uh, some saves and evasion basically. I am wearing uh, some of the level 20 uh, monk stuff from Evening Star at the moment, still. Really, the things I'm doing aren't... I, I really think most people can do without a lot of gear investment. I'm doing them faster, and uh, I'm taking less damage and able to just skate through them, because I have... This Thunder Forge Axe, for example, which I'll show in a minute. Uh, here we go, if it works. Yeah, there we go. So, due to this, specifically, I mean, base damage of 46 helps a lot getting through everything. Uh, the Dragon on Don't Drink the Water went down a lot faster because of the Epic Band of Dragons, you know. First degree burns helps. And, of course, the uh, Meteoric Star Ruby that came with this. When I bought it, and again, I bought this off the Astro Shard Auction House, so I didn't farm for it or anything. It 
Astro Charge was on sale the other day. It happened to be in the auction house. I saw it and went, yes, I think I need to upgrade to that. So I had some points and used them. I had been using this uh, Great Axe of the Change Soldier, which I also bought off the regular auction house. And then I also bought the Rubies off the auction house. And it was doing pretty good. But, uh, yeah. Not quite the same league. Much lower base damage. Um, I did like the fear immunity on it, and I did slot those two rubies to help get through stuff. But uh, nothing really beats this that I've used. I was a little bit sketchy when I first got to Epic because I remember people talking about Epic how it used to be which was more like Epic Elite, where it was really hard and you had to be on your game. And if you run the low-level Epic Normals, um, you know, watch videos, mine or other people's, get a feel for the quest if you haven't run it before. Run it on Heroic, and then it's not really too bad for most of them to solo them on uh, Epic Elite, as far as I'm concerned. You need some level 20 gear to really get through them quickly, but... Um, 20 plus, I should say. But yeah, even this Devil Assault I solo um, at 20 when I come back there. It's a lot more difficult. I have to pay more attention. Um, half the time when I do this now, I just don't even pay attention. I just hold down. That's good. I haven't tried that build. Huh? I really haven't tried a lot of builds. As I said, uh, this being my first epic character, and this is my first character as well. Um, so I've been working on this one for I don't know how many years. I don't remember when I started. Let's see, I started playing, took a break, started playing, took a break. Started playing again, took a long break, and came back. And every time I missed Baybar, Maybar, and this year I thought, hey, look, I'm going to finally get Maybar, and guess what happened? Yeah, no Maybar. A little bit annoyed that I never got to do Maybar yet understand the choices and the fact that it had its issues um, but I'd never experienced it I kept missing it because that was when my in my cycle I wasn't playing for various reasons so and of course I want some of the loot from it which I understand I'll be able to get so I'm not too upset about it it's just one of those things I would have liked to have played it done a lot of ice skating a lot of coving, but never did Maybar. Oh, and chat tablet just went off again. Let's see. Yeah, it's the kind of break I just had, so it's uh, it's a big change. I mean, there are several big changes that came in. Like when I for when I left the last time, uh, the enhancement pass was being talked about, and it looked really good because finally you could just look and see what enhancements you need to prerequisite for others and it made a lot more sense than the way the ugly way the old enhancements were but it took a bit to get used to as well and of course all my builds you know I've been following guides on some of them I just got my own and others but I forget what I was trying to do or wasn't sure how the new stuff fit into what the old stuff was a bit of a change I'm sticking to three characters pretty much right now. The guild has a uh, Thursday static group that I play in, so I've got one character for that. Which I'm actually using LSD's Challenge Farmer Heroic Build Monk, which is awesome. I love that. It's so much fun to play that. Um, I've got this, of course, which is my fighter monk, and then I've got a cleric that I play with my SO. We're trying to get her an epic character. And we're slowly working our way up that way. And I've got a bunch of other characters I don't really play. I might hop on now and then do a quest or two just to have something different going on. Especially when I'm sick of grinding the same quests every day or can't find a group for what I want to do or something. Which reminds me, I need to check my quests. Because I don't think I've run Shroud in the last couple days, and I would like to run Shroud. Which is another new thing. 
I'd always heard about green steel and shroud and never was up there to do it. Finally got a character that can do it and been doing that. Uh, see you, Jerry. So I run Devil Salt almost every day to get the materials and such, plus of course the tokens. And then I also run Shroud. Try to run it every three days, but sometimes groups don't aren't up and they can take forever to fill. It's kind of annoying, so we'll see how that works tonight. I think I missed one yesterday, the day before. That was yesterday, yeah. Yesterday I found a pickup group and uh, <laughs> play a lot of Madden, huh? <laughs> yeah, having something else to play when you're waiting for groups is nice. Yeah, I ended up doing Master Artificer with a uh, pickup group. There were three of us. It was my first time ever running it, and we did Heroic Elite. That was an experience. That's a kind of tough quest. Raid, whatever. Had a couple deaths. Uh, ran out of resources. But we made it. I think I have that video up. I think that I uploaded this morning. It's up on my YouTube. If anybody's interested in seeing that. Could have used at least two more people and a bunch of spell point potions would have been nice too. shrines if you uh, shrine as soon as you can and then as soon as your hirelings back up cast death ward you'll find that the next wave starts at about 1830 on the death ward timer up here um, well since we're waiting anyway so yeah, I've got uh, 18 fighter, 2 monk. Got some strength. A little bit of dex, a lot of con, a little bit in, a little bit of whiz, a little bit of charisma. Well, my base is sick, so very little charisma. Not much spell power. Only got 6% double strike. 34 weapon power. I have no MMR, no MRR, no PRR currently. And we've got about 30 seconds left. I should throw my enhancements real quick. A little bit of dwarf, mostly, Ken, almost all of Kensai. A little bit of stalwart defender, a little bit of ninja spy. I uh, just for the dodge really on that to be more survivable. And nothing else on the others, so I really haven't touched much else. Yeah, eighteen twenty six. Uh, it's about the thirty second eighteen thirty mark. I'm on Wi Fi on a laptop right now and it's running fine and I'm streaming, so I depends on of course your setup, but You can always go wired and, you know, see if that makes a difference. And if it does, then you know you have a problem. Networking is complicated, though, so there's lots of factors. I did uh, have to upgrade my uh, internet package to uh, do streaming. 
I could stream a little bit at very low res um, before I upgraded, and now I can do a lot better. good tactic on these waves here is to take the wizards out first and then the spell bows they can do some annoying things um, the razor bows aren't quite as big of a threat unless they do that of course crippling hit is annoying I have the right, uh, well, between my destinies, my feats, and my weapon, I can do full damage to the devils and demons. I'll go ahead and throw my destinies up here real quick. I'm using Blessed Blades for the uh, good and lawful. And then, of course, the Thunderforged is Silver, Adamantine, Mithril, Cold Iron, Magic, Bashk. And then I've got my feats. Show them here real quick. I've got First Blood, Pierce Silver, Blinding Speed, Overwhelming Critical. That combination works for me at the moment. I plan on doing a lot of E tearing and then maybe do the heroic tears after that. We'll see. See how things go. Um, My static group character is a first lifer, and most of their, well, there's a second lifer, and then the rest of them are uh, third lifers are better, so I'm way ahead on XP on that. But I don't really care about that. We're doing every quest in the game, attempting it at least at level and elite. Um, that's gone well mostly, and sometimes it hasn't gone so well. So. It doesn't go so well, we try again and then either skip it or run a lower difficulty and move on, come back to it later. The good part about that is then at some point then I'll have the 5,000 favor, hopefully. So we have done challenges on there too. Get the 5,000 favor and get the plus 5 tome on that character, which would be nice. We'll see how that goes. We started in February-ish, February or March. And we're level 14 now, I think. It's been nice. We only play once a week, Thursdays. Most of the same people. We have a couple of people, so somebody isn't there, and then catch up. We've had catch up weeks for when we miss parts of chains and such that are annoying, but for the most part, it's the same people. It's fun. Guild is very small. I've been in bigger guilds and smaller guilds. And this is the first one that I really enjoyed, like playing with the guild members. So that's nice. You recently switched from Skype to TeamSpeak, which is so much better. I really hate Skype. It's annoying. I didn't really care if we went Ventrilo or Mumble or. C3 or any of those, but I just didn't want to be in Skype. We finally set up TeamSpeak and it's working well. Most of the other guild is in the uh, UK, which also makes things a little interesting because we're on different time zones and all that. They actually usually work a little earlier, get out a little earlier on Thursdays to start at their time. By the time we log off, it's midnight or 1 a.m. their time, so there's usually a hard stop. We 
we've tried to have a pseudo raid night, but we're such a casual guild that you know people may or may not show up on Fridays. So. Why is a man I'm on Thalanus? I do have characters on every server, but I really don't play the rest of them. I've got at least an iconic on every server, and that was really to get cards for trading, and then trading didn't really happen. So. I love how it's out of his range even though he's sitting in front of it. Yeah, if anybody else is on Delonis and wants to run, wi run with me, let me know. I can set something up. I'm probably going to do uh, Vaughn 1 and 3 next unless there's something in the groups. LFMs that are interesting. Nothing really interesting for me at the moment. If there's a Shroud or a Vaughn 5-6, then I'll... Oh, I didn't have Fire Stance on, oops. Or Sun Stance, whatever. With, yeah, Shroud or Vaughn 5-6 or something. Uh, Spies in the House, something like that. Unless there's one of those groups up when I'm done with this, I'll probably just go Vaughn 1, then 3. I need to go out to Epic Three Barrel Cove and run those at some point. No, I still haven't run those yet. So I'm currently sitting on 3,761 3, in favor. Um, bunch of stuff I haven't done yet in the higher 17 and on, looks like mostly. I've done most things lower. Mostly elites finished, some on epic elite even. Oh, I should have done my. Uh, well, I don't really need it. And battle meditation is nice, but as I said at this point, I'm not even really paying attention too much to what's going on in these until this this wave starts, and then once you get them staggered to come in because of the timing, then it's not a big deal anymore. Kill the spellcasters first, and you're good. If you kill these fast first, then they come in first, and you can kill them before anything else gets out. So much easier. Oh, yeah. Knock them all down. I consider myself a pretty casual player, so I don't, uh, casual but obsessive, I probably should say, given my cove experience. And we one ETR in this character. I went from Marshall to Marshall. As soon as I get this, 
this is what almost to four get it finished out and then I have what's the last one magister I haven't done yet get that one done go back to ETRing some of those nice stances get epic completionist and then I guess settle on a build as far as the epic destinies are concerned run through all completionist stuff. I find Epic so much more easy and rewarding, I should guess, than Heroic. I struggle through Heroic levels after like uh, 12 maybe. I've never really run Giant Hold very much. And that's where you permanently get your XP. I'm just not comfortable running those quests uh, solo. And I just haven't got groups. Because like I said, that's where I was coving a lot through those levels. I was purely doing cove. And that was getting me my levels. Which gives you an idea how much I ran cove, I guess. Because cove doesn't give that much XP. But, yeah. Even though it's taken me however many years to get this character up this high, it's, you know, plug away and you can do it eventually. First got to Epic, I was confused, didn't know what to do, and I ran. Somebody suggested I run the Epic Explorers and the higher level uh, Heroic Explorers to get XP, and that worked really well to get me started in my first Epic Destiny. Give me a couple levels or at least ranks. But now that I've settled into this pattern, I stick with it most times. So I'll get on, I'll look for groups. And if there's nothing interesting on, nothing I want to run, then I'll just go solo. And sometimes I'll check in between, sometimes I will, I'll just run through them all and then see if there's anything up. Just because then I'll give up the rest of my hireling time. Reminds me I didn't buy a Harley when I was in Evening Star, so I'm going to run out. Or I ran out already, looks like. Oh well. I'm going to get anything Marketplace, so I'm in the Marketplace anyway. So. Bye bye. Come on, tokens and materials. I don't need shards, I need tokens and materials. And the drum roll. Yeah. Got one large ingredient out of that. Get off my chest. A stone and a bone. There's, uh, that's not horrible. Not great, though. Take it. Pop around the corner to the uh, Fate Spinner. Again, I'm not VIP. Uh, I have been briefly, but I've bought all the packs, so I. except for um, Thunder Home and Hunt and Hall's Beating Star, which I hope for a holiday sale to get. So there's really not much uh, in the stuff that I care about. Uh, in the VIP package that I care about. I don't really like any of this stuff. Not a spellcaster. Cower in fear doesn't. Energy sheath. Eh. What the heck? I'll just go for some intelligence. I need to run over.
over and get another hurling. Check groups. Eh, no, nothing in the groups that I want. Yeah, the only thing I really hate about going back to level 20 is Wyo, Wyo, however the heck you pronounce this hireling's name, because that hireling is stupid and sucks. Except for the occasional heal in the right place, you might as well not bother. Garrett here is much more reliable. I have a haggle hat that I made in the cove. It's a uh, charisma plus six, haggle plus fifteen. So I use that a lot. Uh, let's see. I was gonna do well. I did just do devil salt, so I'll go back to the ship for repairing. probably ended. I just realized the mail that I have is auction ending. I was going to check on that and I forgot. So I obviously got outbid. It was for Meridian Fragment so I knew it would be outbid. It was really cheap. I love the new airships. They're amazing. I really th thought I wouldn't use this uh, bank and stuff, but uh, turns out I am here quite often. I do enjoy having all this here. Yep. I knew it. It was going for way too cheap. I'm on an Asus laptop with uh, got a Logitech G13 game board keypad, whatever you want to call it, and a Razer Naga Epic mouse. Oops, I forgot to switch my mic back. I do that because uh, my laptop's on a coffee table. It's called a lift top coffee table, if you know what one of those is. And uh, it, sitting on the couch with that up, mm, I don't know, six inches above my lap, hard on the wrists. So with it up there, I can, uh, oops, I should deposit those two. Play on my lap still and give my wrists a break by uh, having things that come out of the laptop and use instead of having to put my wrists up on the laptop, either wrist up there. Works nicely for me. Sometimes I play on the TV, which as I was saying earlier is why my bars are down and in, and even my chat window here is in a bit from the side, and these bars over here are in from the side, so that I can see them when I'm playing on the TV. Oh, there's a spies in the house. Hello. I'm going to go with that. Oop. Yeah, that was nice. Let everybody in the group know that I'm streaming. This is a quest I absolutely hated the first time I ran it. I tried to solo it on Elite, on my fighter, of course, without evasion. 
That did not go very well at all, let me tell you. I got up to the electric floor, and then uh, that's all I could do. End up dying there. And that was way over level, too. That was Heroic Elite, and I was... Mm, I don't sure how, what level I was. 18? 20, maybe? I don't know. Oh, we're actually killing these guys? A lot of groups zerg, and, you, you know, it's kind of strange sometimes to not do it that way if you're one of the big XP quests. It's confusing. Oh, we're not zerging this. All right, well, let me slow down. Oh, I didn't want to slow down. Sometimes I want to zerg, sometimes I don't. I play different styles sometimes. What is he doing here? Oh, come on, trip for me. I miss that. Wow. That was interesting. There we go. That's really odd. By all means, come fight on the Consecrated Ground. I don't mind that at all. I loved running in that Destiny. That was a lot of fun with the Consecrated Ground. back here now. See more of who's streaming now. Thelonis. Yes, I know. Once they open the gate, I'll rescue them. Are we not opening the gate? Okay, then. <laughs> Shalana. This is why I have the staff. Stupid slippery surface junk. Hmm. Look at that. 
Sometimes on this quest you can be so far behind that you barely get anything done. You just gotta run to the end if you have any hope of getting the chest at all. Most people skip this chest too. That's behind me. I don't know why. It's not that hard. Hello. I really can't hear game audio. I think somebody was talking in there. I don't know if it was voiceover or one of the players. It's hard to tell sometimes. Oh, I'm out in front. I didn't realize that. Different groups play this in such different ways. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I've got a tier one Thunder Forged with a meteoric star ruby in it. Seems to do the job. Yep. He is currently munching on ice. We've got several animals here. Oh, come on, die. Oh my gosh, there we go. Are we killing the dogs? Yeah, we're killing dogs. Of course we are. Why are we not killing I ran this twice yesterday with a group that didn't stop for anything. We just kept moving the entire time. So actually stopping to kill things is kind of novel. Looks like somebody has the switch over there, so... Yeah, I'm using this uh, Thunderforge here. Probably first again on him. I am. Oh yeah, this is a good XP quest. Very good. Hey. 
I see to drop in so I can actually hurt you or something? I think I'll do the hello I have all the aggro thing. I believe so. He usually does Wednesday lunches. Yeah, that's the thing I hate about the I have aggro thing is getting nailed by all those cold. Yeah, epic hard, all the bonuses and stuff. It's a good quest. I ran it twice, ye twice yesterday, I believe. No, actually, I don't. What I have is the fact that I was first visible to most of those water elementals and methods, so they all unloaded on me. Alright, if you're gonna wander out there, I'm not gonna chase you down. First time bonuses will really pump it up if you do it on Elite, especially Epic Elite. You're posing last night, they s completely skipped this chest. I don't mind either way, I mean, it's just more trash to send to my crafter, so. 82, not bad. Got a seal. Cool. That works. Nothing else going on that I want. And somebody has D-Door. Always love when somebody brings D-Door. It's getting out. I got another ruby? Huh. Just three more often if I keep getting augments. Alright. No, I do not. The only Thunder Forge I have is this one, and I got it off the Astral Shard auction house within the last week or so. Usually the follow-up to that is Wiz King, which I also don't do without a group. At some point I'll actually learn it. But I only know basically one route through the thing. I'm pretty satisfied with what I have right now. I don't really need anything else. At some point I want to, of course, upgrade it, but that's uh, a bit away. Yeah. 
I'll show you here in a second. Let's start with the bank deposit box again. There we go. Oops, bank's full. All right. Well then, I have this Supreme Tyrant Green Steel. That's uh, min two. I've got a triple positive quarter staff, and I have concordant opposition goggles. And I have the uh, protection from everything cloak. And I have some blanks here that I want to put other stuff on. There was something else there. No, I thought I had another blank somewhere. There we go. There's a necklace. There's a helm. And I've got some shards sitting here. Two of the power, two of the great power, and one supreme. I thought I had another one the other day, or did I put that away? I put that away. I found a spot for it. So, yeah. Yeah, and it's all recent. Um, I didn't have any green steel until... months ago, something like that. Um, finally got flagged for Shroud, started running Shroud. Of course, since I've been Epic, I've been running uh, Devil Assault. Uh, yeah, Quest. Oh, I can't even do Vaughn 5. Oops. Okay, so no Vaughn. So really, Shroud's the only raid I want to do. If there's one up... I think my ransacks from yesterday are done. Yeah, they are. So. On to Vaughn. Um, I don't really need anything out of it at the moment, so I haven't used it. Um, I'm set with what I have. I mean, I've got the Thunderforged. I've got a chain solder as a backup if my Thunderforge breaks um, and everything else I'm going to be running from 20 to 28 a bunch in the near future so oh um, just a second here let me remove this so the commands if you do quest, it shows you your quest timers, raid timers, basically, of course. And then if you do ransack, slash ransack, it shows you which quest you have ransack XP penalties on. So since I've only run these once, they have a 20% XP penalty, which is actually 40% because you don't get the 20% daily first playthrough bonus. But anyway, you get the 20% penalty the first time, then you get 40% penalty the next time you play them. But every what is it, 16 hours, 18 hours, something like that, it resets up to 40-50%, so you can run it twice a day and still not have XP penalties, well, excessive XP penalties. Um, but then you start running into the chest ransack, which is a completely different thing. But yeah, and then you can also do um, either quest completions. Ah. Oh, well, raid completions. There we go. Raid completions, which shows you how many times you've done each raid, which helps you forget the 20th um, run reward. So like Shroud here, 13th Eclipse, I've run 14 times. Six more runs and I can get the cleansing stone or whatever it's called. So I can actually use two um, accessories at once. That's the plan anyway. Uh, as you can see, I haven't run a lot of the raids. Some of them I'm not fla flagged for, some I just haven't run yet. Um, I would like to have run them at least once, but I know we're going to 
I don't think I've done Mind Sunder now. I know my guild's gonna get through everything, so I have, don't really have any burning need to do them all right now. I did ma Master Artificer yesterday, and that was interesting. Um, I was talking about that earlier. Kind of tough with two Titans at the end there. Alright, uh, I am going to go over to... House K. That's what I was going to do. I was going to do Vaughn 1 and 3. So anybody wants to join on Vaughn 1 and 3 Epic, let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to solo it. Or them, I should say. Let's see. I had loot on him before, I think. They are certainly different. Um, at least house C in general, the stuff I've done is different. I probably should envision the second part, not the first. That would make more sense. As I said before, I just got my cloak of invisibility from Tempest Spine in the last couple days, so still figuring out where's the best spot to use it. I really think the second part here is the better place to use it. I want to do more of the House C challenges, the higher level ones. Um, I need to learn the mansion a little bit more than I... I've only run it two or three times and it's a bit confusing. Um, as I said, I have that challenge farmer build that does good. Oops, that's effects. There we go. You should have a party invite. There you go. Oh yeah, that should be good. Yeah, look at that. Bodies everywhere. I love that ruby. I am going to visit the second part. So uh, be aware of that. Oh, that's why they're seeing me. I don't have my right ring on. Duh. That was a brilliant move. No. Get the freaking key. Bunch of confused trolls. Yeah, just a minute. I gotta navigate around these guys while I'm still in Viz. There we go. There's uh, no level penalties on Epics. I'm level 28 as well.
That's the other nice thing about epics, you don't have to worry about levels as much. Ready to go in the arena. I'll wait for you. We're there and ready. Yeah, that's nice too. I want to get myself one of those. That'd be perfect for level 20 until I get my stuff at 24. I think I have the axe and pieces of the thing, but I don't have the whole thing. Let's see. I have the scroll and the shard. Yeah, I'm not really farming for any of the pieces of stuff. I'm just running the stuff I run, and if I get it, great. If I don't, oh well. I haven't done Lord of Blades yet at all. I haven't done Abbott. Well, that was interesting. The cat was in the rat cage. Uh, yeah. I haven't done the high level raids either. Okay. Now, why does your audio come through there and not my headset? I don't know. do this thing.
Why is that on? I don't want to see that. Do, 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 do. I hate ogre mages. They, along with scorpions and phase spiders and such, are really annoying. I don't mind so much those uh, zombies that turn into skeletons in Necropolis, but these other guys that you have to kill twice are just annoying. Yeah, I've never used Blitz. Didn't appeal to me. I do want to get back into, I think, Fury in the Wild. And have some of those uh, sense weaknesses, particularly, is what I want. Primal Scream is nice, too. I like Primal Scream. Wow, I don't think I've done this one since uh, I got my Thunder Forge. These guys are really dying quick compared to even the chain soldier X that I was using. That's cool. Hmm. Evil Ruby, huh? That's cool. Yeah, if I settle out at 28, then at some point maybe I'll start getting some more stuff up there, but at the moment... As long as I have something that gets me up there, I'm fine. Scroll the stone mill plate. Uh, big Jim Vice to use voice chat as well. Um, I rarely voice chat when I'm playing. Uh, occasionally, if there's something going on I need to, I will. Like if we need to coordinate on Cove or a raid or something with my guild, I do, but. As far as pickup groups, I generally do not. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And his three fun pups. that are going to die much quite faster than they used to. Do, 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 do. Yay. Come on, dude. OMG. Wow, look at all those treasure bags. That's pretty cool. Guard tower key. Let's see, it's this one over here. Uh, go ahead, I don't care. it is easier getting the epic chest first than getting the guard tower one. Yeah, the guild uses a TeamSpeak server that we got for free. There are sites that give you free servers and such, which is nice. And there we have it. 13 minutes, 35 seconds, which is 
long, but that included waiting, so I'm not going to count it. But yeah, that was fun. Yeah, um, in most groups, if you pay attention to what's going on and uh, follow everybody, you aren't going to get too much hate. I, that's a good rule to follow anyway. Um, you know, if there's zerging, then go ahead and zerg. If there's flower sniffing, go ahead and flower sniff. Uh, actually, join the group. Yeah, just, I mean, pay attention, be a good party mate, don't run off and get yourself killed, stay with the group if you can, and, you know, pay attention to what people are doing, if they're hanging back, then hang back for some reason, I mean, there's obviously a reason they're doing it. Did we start yet or not? Uh, yeah, he's already there. I ran with the chat completely off for a while and uh, enjoyed it until I was in something. I don't remember what. It was a raid, I think, and things started going wrong, and I needed to turn it on so I could hear what people were saying. Prequest, for those who don't know, it doesn't matter um, what you run it on, so people run it on casual or normal or hard or elite, it doesn't really matter. What matters is this part, the second part. And this is on EH. So is somebody doing traps on this? Nope, nobody doing traps, alright. You know, some pugs are like that. Some pugs just, um, you know, you run the gamut. Some people like to talk to everybody and make sure everybody knows what's going on. Some people just expect you to know your part and follow along with the group and basically don't screw up. So I don't really mind either way. Um, sometimes it's nice to just zerg through things and get it done. You don't got to worry about anything. It's basically people doing their part and you get it done quickly and sometimes it's nice to explore and all that stuff so just depends I'll still be running after this group whether or not they go do something else or not so no need to rush this quest does take a little bit of time Everybody in. Hmm. Throw a symbol out. That's cool.
The other thing I do, tend to do in a lot of these quests is I learn a role or a part or a path, and I do that unless um, I'm told not to or the party seems to be doing something different. So, for example, I know other people usually go up and kill the guys up on the ledge up there, so I don't worry about it. I come over here and make sure this is triggered, and I sit by this last golem. I like not having to fight on the end sometimes, and I like alternate paths, which is what I was saying earlier, I really love party crashers. Um, I like the occasional stealth, um, not in this character usually, um, although I do just do some invising here and there. Um, yeah, it's nice to play different ways sometimes. Um, I do tend to solo a lot just because I want to run stuff and I don't want to deal with pugs and I know, like I said, the first couple I did today I do almost every day. Um, that's a route, it's familiar, it's comfortable, so I do that a lot, but sometimes I like to do something different, whether it's stealthing or invising or playing a different character. This is my primary character, that's for sure spent more hours on this character than any other. So am I going to get this? I'm going to be the sucker? Alright, I'll be the sucker then. Fine. Ha! Didn't take any damage. My saves aren't that great, but it worked. It was enough. Spawn the other guys. Mm. I have never really played a ranged character. Um, I have a um, Artie that was fun to play the few times I've played it, but I haven't played it that much. And then a friend started playing briefly one night, and so I rolled a new Artie to play with them, and then they never showed back up, so I've got that one sitting out there, too, at a whole level two. I actually have 15 characters and 13 character slots. I need to fit cold resist on this build somewhere at some point because polar ray gets me a lot. Yep, I guess that would be fun. I have 
let's see, did I ever build that archer? I don't know if I built that archer or not. I had one started at one point, I thought. Or I was going to, I don't remember. As I said, I pay three characters mostly. The rest are sort of out there. As I unlock stuff or wanted to play stuff or found a new build, I just built another character and played with it. So I've got a lot of characters, but only one epic. Didn't see it. Oh, I love dancing. I spent a lot of this game dancing. And there comes the cold image. Just in time to kill. That's cool. I'd like to get me some of that, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, having a rat on your head is weird. Pillars are pretty squishy. For the fact they do con damage and drains and such, they wouldn't be anything. Did somebody get the last one? I'm not seeing it in my selection. There it is. <laughs> I actually did all three runes. That's funny. All three runes are done. Yeah, it's Talanus.
loot break. Yeah, after this I'm probably going to take a short break and then can continue for a little bit. I'm not sure how long I'm going to go tonight, but my ears need a break from the headphones. Eastern, so it's about 7.30 here, roughly. PM. He's not going to last long. Oh, he's scared. Come on. Come on out. Get some damage. Welcome to the damage. a good run. And again, I'm going to take a short break here as soon as I get back to the airship. Um, I will be running more stuff. If you're on Thalanus, you're welcome to join me. Have on. I'm on timer still. Not sure what it's going to be, but it'll be something. So see you in about five minutes.
All right. Get settled back in here. See what groups are going, see what you all want to do. We already did the... No, can't do that on the timer, so no. All right. So we've got you and you. Anybody else on Thelonis that wants to go? And what do we want to do? Yeah, I understand. Does that work for in-game voice? Do I have that set up? No. Okay. Let's see. I did that. I haven't repaired and stored yet, so let me do that. Yes, I can hear you. So yeah, in comparison to titanium's armor, which is that, I am wearing this. Quite a bit of difference in power there. If you're near the thing, I can invite you. That's interesting. I'm always interested to see what people's uh, screen and ship setups, how they differ from ours. Well, if you have to, you have to. Let's see here. I need to clean up my inventory anyway. Get some of that going. Oh, that's right, my bank's full. Crap. Uh, throw that in there. I guess I could sell a couple things. That for. Uh, let's throw that out there. Get rid of some gems. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. it's interesting to see how different people lay out their bars and screens in general and how the airships laid out differently. I was in several guilds that had their amenities set up completely differently. Just interesting to see how people think the uh, easiest to use or most efficient or whatever it is. We have the two level plus the cargo hold airship and the first floor is all the interactive stuff and then the um, lower floor is the non-interactive but still buff stuff just different way for people to do the same thing basically uh, let's see titanium's not back
Yeah, I was just checking it with titanium and... They're doing Vaughn 3 again. I see. And, yeah, we already done spies. Well, unless you guys want to do spies, I've already done spies. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? We can do, oh, I know what we can do, Lords of Dust. I gained a rank. Let me mess with my, uh, or was that the one I don't get a point for? Let's look. No. No misclicks. Two points available. Let's just do an end point there. Getting closer to being done with this destiny. How much you got left on uh, Vaughn 3? Titanium. How much you got left on uh, three? Halfway? All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and start then. Join whenever you're ready, or let us know when you're ready. I might as well get some use out of my hireling. If there's only titanium in us, then let's go ahead and do this then. One thing I really like about playing my fighters is not to wear out buffs. I mean, if I get them, great, but if not, eh, whatever. I don't cast them on myself. I don't know this quest for a while, by the way. So. Somebody else wants to point to the more efficient path or whatever, I don't care. Is 
Uh, there's just fire. Nothing good there. Locked door. Don't care. Oh, good. Open. Yeah, I can hear you. That's cool. Got the epic one. I just trashed the old regular one that I had. I wasn't using it. I was taking up bank space. I think I probably have enough pieces to get another one if I want it. I am looking at Twitch chat if anybody wants to pipe in with something. Um, it's on a tablet next to me so I can see it while playing if I glance over there once in a while. This is another quest with a lot of collectibles. Nice having a paralyzer in the group. This stuff just sits still so you can kill it. We're done here. Primal Scream. Cool. Yeah, at some point I'll probably do the farming for all that really nice high-level gear, but I'm not planning on spending any time there after I get my destinies filled out, so I don't see the point right now in uh, investing any time or effort into it, really, for the really good stuff to grind or build. You know, if I run a couple quests and get some materials for constructing them and crafting and stuff, that's cool, but... Uh, no, I do not. Uh, I can use it. Not at all. Thank you. Oh, you got the mythic one. That's cool. Yep, that is rare. You can see my armor matches the death knight's armor. I got a cosmetic gun. Looks like I'm wearing the torso of violence and stuff. Kalanis. C. Rexus. <sighs> yep, it does. That's cool. Yeah, I have just whatever cosmetic came with one of the expansions. I just don't think dwarves look good in the sun soul or whatever I've got on.
No. I've done it before, but it's really not worth it. I don't think it's worth it at all. I have like 300 shards right now. I mean, they're your shards if you want to, but... I've never thought it'd be worth it. Mostly what I've used the shards on are is my Thunderforge axe, really. That's about all I've used. I've never had very many. Just because they were on sale last week or whatever, whenever it was, I bought some and got this axe. Of course, guild members have bought airship and amenities with it. I've donated some of my shards towards that, but... Never really had too many. That was a well-timed meteor. Nope. I know I have two or three of those. I keep doing do the chain. Yeah, the owl bear isn't. Yeah, he can't fit through doors, and he stands there a lot. Rest of chain, I thought.
I wonder what would happen if I went ahead and did a LFM. Nah. At this point, I don't care. Uh, servants is the next one. Sure. Alberry is good for levers, though, sometimes. Wow, that's quite a delay. I really don't know this one at all. So, well, let's have fun. <clears throat> I get lost in here pretty easily. Titanium, you coming in? Okay, we're starting. <laughs> that was pointless. <laughs> he didn't last very long at all. We need to go over here for anything? I don't remember. I thought there was something over here we needed. Something somewhere. Oh, we need to get into there. Sure. Like I said, I don't know this quest, so... Ah, oh, there you go. Just in time. So you know, I'll probably know this way better than me, so go ahead and do what we need to do, because I won't know it. This is not something I usually run. Once in a while there's a group, but that's about it.
Yeah, I don't need it. That would be wrong. Get all that PR MMR and evasion. Lots of collectibles hidden in this one, too. Nice kill. I always like seeing damage over a thousand. There we go, got the full 20 stacks on him before he died.
went that way, didn't we? Because we came out of that. Not that I know of. Just uh, email as the forum thread stated and work it out with Cordovan. Got it. Yeah. It's a good what, fifteen, twenty seconds behind? I thought we only had one. Now I'm getting confused.
Yeah, I was muted. That's cool. Harling should get you once you're up here, if nothing else. I think we really need the shrine. Yeah. Mm, I don't know what that's going to do if we disconnect it. Crixus also um, I was using Shadowplay to do my own streams and Shadowplay doesn't seem to support putting in a stream key to stream to a different channel so you need uh, OBS or XSplit you can't use Shadowplay to stream to the official channel or the DDS stream channel anyway so that's something to keep in mind I had to figure all that out earlier today. That's not a... that was a mini-boss, wasn't it? He was only orange. He wasn't red. Or purple.
I did not see it. I thought he was dead awful quick, but I didn't actually see it happen. Whoa. That's right, that's that part. <laughs> the hail that fell and is now stretched out in midair above us. That's kind of funny. Yeah, might as well. Everybody get that. Um, it does for a little while, and I know I can send it to YouTube to make it a more permanent archive. I'm not sure what happens when it's this long, though. This is going on, what, three hours? So I'm not sure how that works. I think I can take out pieces as highlights, but I'll have to look into that tomorrow. I don't really like this part of this quest. It's kind of boring. Oh, they did update that? Because I remember getting a uh, spider stuck in one of the pools not too long ago. It was annoying. Yeah, the boss part's fun. It's this just waves for no apparent reason thing that I don't like.
Yeah, he's slow, but he takes care of it eventually. Yeah, it's handy that way. Master's gift, yeah. I have mine in my spyglass. No. Thanks. Oh. We're on Thalanus. Actually, you know what? I think I need to stop for the night. Yeah, that's cool. I enjoyed playing with y'all. Yeah. Thanks for joining. I should be doing most Tuesdays. So if you're free on Tuesday nights, we can do it again. Um, this or other quests. Thanks to... Uh, <laughs> thanks to everybody who watched. Um, and I uh, hope you had fun. Enjoyed watching. The stream should be up on Archive at some point. Need to look into that, doing that. And uh, hopefully see you guys next week in, in the future. Thanks a lot, guys. I enjoyed it.